We're gonna work today on a closed guard submission chain using the lapel. So my main challenge when I have the closed guard is to keep Carlos' posture broken, right? I can try to reach up here and yank her down, but this is a whole lot of work for my arms. So one thing I like to do if she's postured up tall is pull out this piece of lapel. A lot of different things I can do here, but one that I really like is to punch it under her armpit, catch with this same side, and then feed it to my other hand on the other side. I can just hold on to this and use it for all kinds of different things. So play with this in your training. I promise you will find something you didn't know was there. But to hit our move for today, I'm gonna pass this lapel back to the other hand. I wanna make sure I do that with the palm up. Now I can take my other hand over and I'm gonna grab behind the gi here. So I can grab inside the collar, but what I personally prefer since I'm coming over is to just get a piece of shoulder material right here, right? So once I've got this, I'm gonna use this free foot, get a little bit of an angle, control her posture here, and then I turn out my wrists as I kind of fix my angle to finish, right? So just to do that detail one more time, I start to finish this by putting this foot on the hip and coming towards my other leg, and then I'm gonna finish getting under her neck and resetting in the center. Okay, so one thing that might happen when I get here is that Carla's gonna try to get my arm off using her arm. Oh my gosh, beautiful. Then we're right here. When she brings her elbow over to my elbow like that to try and stop me from getting this choke, that close guard arm bar is there all day. 